Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, we're going to go over vector snapping in CarveCo. If you're just getting started out, vector snapping is having an automatic guide that helps you line up all your designs so that you don't have to guess or hunt around. It's one of those tools that makes designing easier and a lot more fun. Let's make it happen. We just have a project opened up and I have a 30 by 30 material size selected. I have my ruler turned on. If you want to turn on your ruler, all you need to do is go up here to the view tab and go down to where it says show rulers. And that will add these rulers to the side of your material. You also can select show origin. It'll show you where you've selected your origin. So I have the bottom left corner. I also have my cursor information on and also have the show bridges check marked. But the show cursor information, wherever I hover my cursor, shows the information in X, Y, and Z. What snapping does is when you're designing a project and you're going to draw a vector, snapping allows you to pick specific points that it will automatically go to. And you can see when I get up to the corner, my cursor changes to this target. This allows me to pick that corner without having to zoom in and find it exactly. There are also points midway on your material. So the corners and also in the middle of the material is another snap point. So by using these snap points, you can find different places on your material fairly quickly and you don't have to hunt around. And that's really what snapping is. Snapping means to snap to a particular spot. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to create a square if we go up to this view tab and we go down to the snapping, this is all of our snapping options. Now, right now I have snap to objects turned on and I also have snap to guidelines. What snap to objects means is that if I'm designing something and I have an object already created, snap to object will allow me to quickly snap to whatever line or object that I'm pointing at. So I don't have to zoom in and find the corner. I can quickly click on different points of my object and get those snap points. We also can snap to a guideline. Guidelines are a really great way to ensure that you're in the right spot. If I right click anywhere on the screen, I can insert an X or a Y guideline. Now this guideline can be moved around and placed on a very specific line or spot. If you right click it and go to edit guideline, you can specify the exact position on your material of where that guideline needs to fall. So this guideline would be exactly at the 15 inch mark on my Y axis. Jump into our 2D view. We have this ruler that's up at the top and on the side of our material. If we click anywhere in this ruler and pull right or left, this will at bring in a guideline. And if you notice at the top, there's this ruler that I can drop these guidelines on. So this guideline would fall on the position of 10. Now you can make it accurate by going into your edit guidelines and then adding a guideline to whatever axis that you wanted to. So we could go in here and add another guideline on this other X axis. Now let's just put it exactly on 10. When I go to draw my polylines, anytime that I move to one of these guidelines, these guidelines can be used for an exact measurement. So I know exactly that my lines are five inches apart because this one's on the 15 this one's on the 10. And so if I'm creating a design that I need to know exactly where my lines are going to, I can quickly draw out a design using some guidelines and the snapping points. Let's jump back to our 3D view and I'm going to delete all of these vectors. And I'm also going to delete the guidelines by right clicking them and pressing delete guidelines. Let's go back up to our view tab and back to snapping. We also have the option to snap to a grid. I'm gonna click snap to a grid. And if we go back up to our view tab, we can click show grid and this will show our dot grid. Now this grid is very lightly colored. And in this video, it may be hard to see. If I zoom out, you, these dots are a little easier to see. When you zoom in, they're a lot harder to see. Now, these dots by default are one inch apart. 
we can go up here to our view tab, go back to snapping and go down to this snap grid settings. Now our snap grid settings say that this was actually two inches apart, but we can change this. We can change our grid to be one inch spacing. We can change this to be a half inch grid. Now I have my grid at a half inch. And anytime that I start a vector and create something, I know that each one of these dots is a half inch. And if you, I'm gonna zoom in. If you notice, because I have the snap to grid checked, these vectors will only go to one of the grid dots. So what this does is this allows us to create a vector with very accurate measurements. I know that these are half inch apart, so every two dots is one inch. So I can make a perfectly square box that I know is one inch on each side. These can help you line out your project and keep everything at the exact size that you need it. The snapping and grid tool is really great when you're trying to design something of very specific size. However, it will not allow you to select in between one of the points. So if you want more control, you'll have to unselect the snap to grids so that you can place your point anywhere on your material. If we go back to view, and we go to snapping, we have this snap hints. What snap hints does, if we're creating a vector line, this will show us where the snap points are when we get our mouse close to it. If I click here, it's gonna start my vector here, but these dots show where snap points exist. So if I wanted to snap to a very specific spot, I can turn on these snap hints and it will show me all the places that I can quickly snap my vector to. And that's what having the snap hints turned on does. We also have the snap grid on and off. This snap draw on and off is also the same as this check mark here. So those two things do the same thing. And you can always turn off this grid if it's getting in your way. So by making the grid a specific size, you're able to snap around and design fairly quickly. I also have a video showing how to do quick alignments based on vectors. I'll have a quick link for that up above. One other measuring tool that I wanted to show you guys, if I go to model, we have a measure tool. The measure tool will allow you to measure from one point to another. All you have to do is take and click where you want it to measure from and click where you want it to measure to. Now, again, these will snap to an object and give you the exact distance over here on the right. Hopefully these design tricks and these snapping tricks can help you align your projects a lot faster. And once you get used to using that stuff, it'll make designing in CarveCo a lot easier. Guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and share this with someone. I'd like to give a big thanks to all of our Timber Falls Elite members. You guys keep the bit spinning and we really appreciate your support. If you're interested in becoming a Timber Falls Elite, check out the link below or our website at timberfalls.us. Thanks guys.